Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now a few months back I brought some content out which was on the Hoto Tools flashlight. I'd never really seen Hoto Tools before and I saw the flashlight and something in me just went that is very very cool. So I mean I'll leave whichever side that it stays on. I'll leave a link to the flashlight so that you can see that. Now as I always do, I got in touch with him to say thank you and I really appreciate uh, you sending me that. Here's the content so that they could see it. Uh, and they got back to me pretty straight away and said that they were really happy with it. And thinking of EDC in mind, they had a precision screwdriver, electric precision screwdriver, that's perfect for things like EDC, for knife maintenance and that kind of thing. Of course, I said I'd love to show you guys exactly what that's like and give you my opinions on it. So what we are here today to look at from Hoto Tools is the precision screwdriver. I've got to say this, this is another one again that has really impressed me from the fit, from the finish, everything. Yeah, so I'll turn the camera around as I usually do so that we can take a closer look whilst I'm doing that if at any point you do enjoy this content or even find it mildly amusing then please feel free to hit the like subscribe and share it makes a huge difference to my channel especially with the algorithm and also for me to be able to see uh, exactly what type of content that you enjoy watching um, and if you do choose to hit thank you I would definitely like to say at this point I'd like to say thank you um, again it really it really does make a large difference to my channel but for now as I say let's take a closer look at the precision school at the, blah, 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 at the precision screwdriver from Hoto Tools. Okay, so here we have it. Now it comes in this very nice, very modern looking box. A, a box is a box at the end of the day, but you know it, it has a reasonably nice unboxing experience. It's got that kind of modern iPhone aesthetic. Why can't I get it out of the box? Sorry about that. Uh, now when it arrives. It arrives in the box everything that comes in the box so you get uh, you get the screwdriver set which is here you also get some instructions which are good to have as well uh, and it also comes with the charging cable that you need for this now it's not a proprietary charging cable it does charge by USB type C which is becoming the modern standard to make sure you know that we're all using um, the same sort of charging cables inside here it, it, they are a Chinese company please definitely don't let that put you off um, the quality of all of the things that I've tried from here is, is just as good as anywhere that I'd expect from anywhere in the world um, definitely please don't let that put you off um, so when you come in here obviously you've got all of your instructions to go through what all are all, all of the different parts um, a bit on how it's used the main bit really here is on this back page so here we have some of the specifications as far as how it all works now some of this information is actually repeated here on the back um, but I thought th there's some extra in here just in case you need to go into certainly things about uh, the minimum electric torque and the, and the minimum manual torque now I'll say that now as though I really know what a lot of that's about again it's mainly a kind of a hobbyist thing for me but it's, it, you know it's been a while since I um, I did physics um, okay so here is the tool it's it's all in here and it's very 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 well presented so it comes in this really nice two-tone uh, high quality uh, resin really it's plastic um, plastic carry case box kind of thing it's a flipper so it opens like that so that you can get inside it's definitely two-toned so the rest of this here ha has this really nice matte gray kind of uh, look to it which uh, you know it, it's a lot think think of your remote controls for your television and you'll, you'll you'll know exactly what this is like but when you flip it over there is a slight indent into this where there is an inlay which has this really nice purpley I'd say purpley heathery gray um, kind of effect to it it also looks as though it's kind of sandblasted as well which again just gives it a different texture to the outside here in the top left hand corner you have a small Hoto uh, logo now as far as measurements are concerned okay so the box itself comes in at 
I mean, I'm going to round up with this because I think it actually comes in at 179, but let's call that 180. Uh, the width of it comes in at 70 millimeters and it is roughly 25 millimeters deep. If you're after that in old money, what is that? Okay, so that is seven and one eighth of an inch. It's also two and three quarters of an inch and 25 millimeters is, uh, is, is, is an inch. So here we have it. Uh, to open it up, I mean, it, it's not, you, you, there certainly isn't a thumb neck or anything like this. Um, it appears, when, when you lift it, it feels like there is a, a magnetic clasp underneath here, but it, it's actually just a really nice spring here in the back so that when it opens and when it closes, it will um, it will kind of make sure that it closes with a, with a good kind of, you know, this is definitely closed. Um, you can shake it. So I'm giving that a good shake and when you open it all of your bits are still held in place now there is a good reason for that and that is because behind all of the little bits there's a magnet and that will make sure that all of your bits are held in place so that's a that's one of those shakes one of those shakes and yeah you know they're all they're all still in place now as far as bits are concerned you get 25 precision bits in this um, I could give you the names of all of them so here we have some uh, Phillips heads uh, we have some flat heads we also have some Torx heads there's uh, there's two lots of Torx heads and then here we have some hers we have some H2O's we have some H O you, you know this they're really nice uh, and then here there's some some of those as well which which are equally just as nice in the eyes of whoever wants to look at this now these additional ones certainly in the past when i've been looking at taking apart a remote control or something i'm like what the, what are you supposed to use for that that's where these come in so if you like to take apart a nintendo switch or an iphone or all of those strange things strange ones that have proprietary heads on them like this one which is just a triangle which is the um which is the 2.3 whatever that is so it's great it's got lots of options for you um, now a lot of these precision heads if it turns out that they aren't the ones that you have maybe you have some other ones then you can put these all in here they're not the the standard um quarter inch drives they're actually smaller than that when i hold them across like that it's more like it's more like just over an eighth of an inch um but again you know it, it gives it gives you the dimensions here in the instructions so these are all held in place with a magnet just in case for some reason because magnets do unmagnetize there is a small little section here that magnetizes when you drop onto it and you just have to leave that there for roughly five seconds and then when you take it away it should be re-magnetized and then you can put that back in there now the actual driver itself is here so here we have it um, it comes in at oh, let's do this in millimeters it comes in at 59 millimeters and I know that it's 17 millimeters thick uh, in inches that is 16 and oh sorry i was doing that off camera then so uh, that's 16 and a quarter sorry it's not it's six and a quarter inches sorry uh, and thickness is a little bit like five eighths of an inch kind of thing um and this this sits in uh, the recess here at the bottom now just an extra point with this so inside the recess um in, in here if you poke your finger in you can actually feel a small nipple uh, and that nipple means that when the, uh, the 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 head of the driver goes into there, it, it fits perfectly in there. On the back here, there's also uh, another little lip that connects with another lip on the inside as well. Um, so when it's in, you push it down and it, it locks it into position to make sure that, that that's definitely not coming out. I mean, I can turn it upside down. I'm not going to shake it because the, these might come out. Um, but it, it holds it in there um, nice and safe. So pulling this out, I'm just going to put that to one side. This is made uh, from an aluminium, which has a really nice tactile feel to it. 
hopefully if you can see while I'm turning this round there you can see that there's a knurling to this so that you can you can get a good grip now I would say similarly to a lot of these style uh, aluminiums especially if you think about some of those iPhones back in the day that would just slide out of your hand the knurling on here does help to ha give you a good grip However, it is still a little bit slippy. So it's just something to, um, to, to be aware of. It's not happened a lot. So over the last three or four weeks, I've quite literally took everything apart that I own, apart from a few things, which I've managed to find today. So we'll take those apart today as well. Um, but with the torque that you can get from this, sometimes it can actually turn it out of your hand. So as far as the torque, or actually let's give you some more information, but as far as the torque is concerned for this, so the manual torque that you can get is a maximum of three um, newton meters. Now as far as I'm aware, so the manual is, if you needed to use this yourself manually, you can apply three um, newton meters to this to make sure but past that then you'll start to turn the end the, the, the motor on the inside so you can hand tighten things with this to roughly kind of hand tight tightness um, but if you did need to make sure that something was a little bit tighter then you, you can you can do that manually with it with a different tool especially when you're using tools like this because of the um, because of the size of the threads on there it's it's really important that you don't over tighten things because you can easily strip the threads now as far as the uh, the mechanical um, torque on here uh, that goes up to 0.2 newton meters so, and it does a good job I've, I've struggled to find things that i've had to undo Mainly the ones that I have had to undo certainly have been things like Leatherman knives where, you know, somebody at the factory has made sure that that knife, that, that bolt or that screw is in there nice and tight. So I've had to loosen that, uh, doing it manually, and then use the two buttons to be able to, uh, to, to bring it out or to bring it back in. I'm just going to grab a bit. Let's grab that one for now. We'll put this in. So all of these are magnetized, but there is also a, a magnet uh, inside the barrel there as well. So as I push this in, hopefully you'll be able to see at a certain point it will then suck that in. So that's in. This outer sleeve doesn't rotate um, when you're using it. It's the internal sleeve that does rotate. So you don't definitely no, don't need to worry about getting anything caught on the outside. But I'd always say whenever you're using any mechanical machinery is to make sure that if you've got loose hair, loose clothing, always make sure you're careful that, you know, that sort of stuff doesn't get caught in this. For the operation, you have, if you want to screw it in, you press the in button. If you want to screw it out, you press the out button. That one is lefty-loosey, that one is, no, that one is lefty-loosey, that one is righty-tighty. On the back, we have the charging port, which, as I mentioned before, is a USB Type-C. There is a light indicator on here as well, so I think if it gets down to, I think it's 25%, then it'll start to show red. Uh, while it's charging, it will be red um, until it's fully charged, and then it, 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 it turns white. Now, as I mentioned, so I, I took apart quite a few things, but I did manage to find some things today that I still haven't yet took apart. So now I am going to bring in a firearm at this point. So here is my UK legal um, AK and there are a couple of screws underneath here. So if I just take out uh, the magazine, let's just yeah make sure it's safe. We have bullets in there, but yeah, definitely safe. Uh, so if I wanted to maybe work on something underneath here, we have these little screws. Uh, is this the right head? It is the right head. So, okay, so uh, Lefty Lucy, which is the one here at the back. You just hold it on, and there you go. So, yeah. There you go. And then when you put it in there, if you do want to tighten it just a little bit more, uh, then I can give that a little bit of a, a screw on there. I can then put back in the magazine obviously I've not charged the handle yet so this is still a safe weapon and we are on safety as well so remember people be gun safe so there's my AK what else have we got so we've also got this one now I've been very curious about these uh, screws here so let's see I'm guessing I'm guessing that would be a Torx 8 is it 
Yes, it is. So we can pull that one out, as I say, magnetized. Um, all these also have the names and numbers on them as well. So when you put them back in, it's very easy to remember where they came from. So I'm going to put that one in. Um, I don't know where should we do it. Oh, right, OK. Let's pretend that we want to take this off. So I'm expecting this one's going to be a little bit tougher. So we're going out and I think that one might rotate on the back. So if I hold that on and then... No? Yeah. So it's done it, and it's done it really well. That one surprised me, as I say. So I have had a few leatherman-y style tools. You get to the end, obviously you can you can feel. So that's just, wow, okay. So that, yeah, that's, I mean, that's on there fast. That's that's probably um, tighter than, than hand tight. So it's done a great job with this. Now I have found, so I'm, I, I, in all transparency, there have been a few of these style joints that when I've started to do them, they've just been on there very tight from the manufacturer. So I've just had to loosen them um, myself. And when I say myself, I mean, I've had to loosen them by putting that in and just manually using this uh, to loosen those. Uh, and then I can use the in and out to be able to get those in and out afterwards. So there's the SOG. And I've also got um, this little CVV. So we could, well, there's the pin there, which I think the pin there is the, yes, it is. So uh, here is the pivot pin. Again, just make sure that they were in. There you go. So, I mean, there was a bit on there. It, it did try to take it out of my hand, but now that it's loosened it, I can then put it back in. And again, just make sure that that's hand tight. We do have some smaller ones here at the back. So if I wanted to remove those, Watch, that that was the eight, so I think you generally tend to find with a lot of these that they're all a six. So I'll put that in again. And again, I haven't loosened these beforehand. There you go. So that was reasonably simple, reasonably easy. Let's try the other one. See, now that one, there you go. So just, it, that one was tough at first. I just had to loosen it, and then when it loosened, then it came out, and then, yeah, go back in. I think this is great. Certainly for knife maintenance, even other little things, being able to take apart, uh, well, not maybe mobile phones, but if the remote control breaks or anything like this, having the tool to be able to do it is part of the obstacle of, you know, having to actually do something. So, yeah, definitely really like this. Now, I definitely have to say that I'm very impressed with this. Now, as far as my tools, knowledge, experience is concerned, I would definitely have to say that I'm a layman to hobbyist. I'm certainly not the precision, you know, I, I don't work for a company where I take part in uh, laptops and that sort of stuff on a day-to-day on -day basis. So for me, for how I need to use this, this is perfect. The fact that it all comes in an in a easily carryable box, the fact that it's just all there, it's all, it's all together, I don't have to have separate things or need to worry where it is. It easily fits into any pouch, any pocket. Um, strangely, because the type of bags that you know that I like, this fits perfectly into an M4, an AR, um, an AK, uh, mag pouch in bags. It's actually real. It's perfectly suited for that. It's it's crazy just how well so many things fit into those, and it's it's all just here. It, it's it feels incredibly well made. I showed this to my dad. He loves tools. He sh I showed this to him, and he was like, you know, this has to be expensive. And I went, you know, it's not as expensive as you'd think. Again, I'll leave all of the links below so you can see more from these. For me. One of my insecurities, I'd say insecurities, about doing certain tasks, especially things like knife um, maintenance, is always having, one, the knowledge of what I'm doing and also having the right tool to do this. So what this does is it, it puts all of those tools into your hands so that already, there's, there's already a little bit more confidence in the fact that you can get done what you need to do Actually, the knowledge of how to do it, 
that that comes with time because like a lot of things it comes to practice it comes to patience it comes to get you know losing a few screws every now and again but having the tools in order to do that will give you the confidence to try it out yourself to take things apart hopefully you'll be able to get them back together but that's all part of the fun of doing it and there's lots of YouTube content on how to put your knives back together just in case but again having those tools there to be able to know that you're doing the job correctly from a from a facilitation point of view um, certainly helps I want to say a massive thank you to uh, Hoto Tools for sending this out to me. I've certainly enjoyed the last few pieces of content that we've made together and I certainly look forward to others in the future. I'll leave all of their links below so that you can see more from them, you can see more from their social media. I'll also leave some of my social media links below as well. And as usual for now, stay safe, stay more lender and stay EDC.